did you not also have them play in the dark at one point? It wasn't totally dark, but I wanted them to get the idea of being able to do things that are just out of the ordinary, like silence day. If you have a day of just silence, there's a lot of chatter in basketball, and rightfully, you want players to be talking to each other and communicating with each other. But sometimes in practice, it gets too, too verbose, and guys are yelling and having fun with each other and teasing each other. So I tried to take things out of the ordinary and make them something special so they'd understand the difference. How, you know, you, you talk about this idea of mindfulness and being centered and coming back to self in a field where the very nature of the game <laughs> uh, fosters the ego. I mean, you and talk about benching the ego in, yeah. in, in, in 11 rings and how important that is as a step to bench that ego. But in a world where, and particularly for those of, of us on the outside world, it just looks like, I mean, that's a world filled with a lot of, not just big, but tall egos. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. And money. And, and, the and money, money is there. And, you know, we have a you know, salary cap and everybody's trying to reach the maximum salary cap. And there's all these very many great pressures on these young men to really serve themselves because they're thinking it's my family. I'm looking yes. after my group, my family, my mom, my dad, and you know, they want to provide and you have to forget about the family, your contract, where you're going to be next year. The fact that you're not guaranteed, all these things have to be set aside and we have to be in the moment. You have yes. to be now.